Get right back to our strategy session. Once again, Paul Begala and Ari Fleischer are joining us. Uh, Paul, you think it's smart for the president to pick a fight with the Republicans in the Senate and go ahead and nominate Susan Rice to be the next Secretary of State? Well, it's, uh, it's his obligation as president to pick the person he thinks would be best. And if he decides Ambassador Rice would be the best, and I think the tea leaves are pointing there, then he has a duty to nominate her. Uh, you can't cave in to the kind of, of um, I think, political posturing you're seeing. And I don't really, the election's over. I, I, these are honorable people, Senator McCain, Senator Ayotte, Senator Graham. They're, they're smart people and they love their country. But I do hope everybody just takes a breath and asks the question, if he nominates Ambassador Rice, is she qualified to be Secretary of State? And of course the answer is yes. She, you know, today, uh, uh, one of America's closest allies, Israel, is under assault at the United Nations. You had Ambassador Oren on here a moment ago. Americans ought to be united on national security and foreign policy. And this is a time we ought to be united. I just don't see any gain, frankly, for the country, and certainly not for the Republican Party, in attacking Ambassador Wright. What right. do you think, uh, Ari? Well, if I spent 15 years working in Congress, six years in the Senate where confirmations, nominations get confirmed, and I spent two and a half at the White House, and I've got to say, after all that time, I believe in the power of the executive. I think the president largely should get his way with nominees. He has the right to put people in place who see things his way, even if the minority party disagrees with those policies. I think people should be resisted if there's something seriously wrong with who they are, their character, their ethics, uh, or their record. Uh, these things have to get thought through and argued about, but I lean in the direction of presidents get their people when they want to make their choice. It would be a fight. It would be a slap. And I can see on the one hand, it goes back to your previous question, Wolf. If the president actually does meet Republicans in the middle and reforms entitlements, acts as a moderate, governs as a moderate, then he can fight for his base on some other issues and pick a fight on Susan Rice. It all sort of does come together. So I would not begrudge him for doing that, but if he governs as an obstructionist to Republicans on everything, we're gonna get nothing done over the next several years. It would leave an opening, uh, if he doesn't pick Susan Rice, Paul, a, a crass political question. Uh, uh, if he were to name John Kerry, for example, the senator from Massachusetts, as his secretary of state, and he would be confirmed, presumably. Uh, would that open the door for a Republican to be the next senator, though, from Massachusetts? I'm sp speaking about the current senator, the outgoing senator, Scott Brown, who's still pretty popular there. Well, he is popular. That's a great point. I know he was defeated, but he is a formidable political talent. I honestly have no idea if that's playing a role in, in these deliberations. My best guess is, I mean, clearly John Kerry is qualified to be the Secretary of State as well. My best guess is it's exactly what Ari was saying, which is the president is asking, who is most in sync with my foreign policy? And Ambassador Rice is someone who has helped formulate the Obama foreign policy. And so, of course, she would articulate and advance it well. I think Senator Kerry would, too. Uh, Democrats are now in a position where we have an embarrassment of riches. I, I hope, I really do, I hope they don't start worrying about this or that political matter. Frankly, even though Scott Brown's a very able and talented Republican, if Democrats can't win elections in Massachusetts, there's something fundamentally wrong with what we're doing. Yeah, he did win the last time, Scott Brown. Not this time, but the time before he won in Massachusetts. Uh, we gotta leave it there, Paul. Ari, guys, thank you.